May I come in, sir? Yes, please do. Good afternoon, sir. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Please take a seat. Thank you, sir. You, Mr. Sandeep Kumar. Yes, sir. Sandeep, comfortable? Yes, sir. You have cho chosen English as your medium of uh, interview. Yes, sir. Sandeep, you must have uh, noticed that uh, we are taking adequate care when it comes to COVID, and uh, we have taken many steps. And one of the steps is that we have capped your chair at adequate distance. And uh, uh, if you notice that you are at a safe distance from anybody in this room, right? Yes. So uh, one of the advantages is that if you want to uh, remove your mask because you must be feeling safe, then you can choose to remove your mask as well. Would you Thank like to remove? Yes, sir. Thank Please you. Please do. Thank you, sir. You okay? Yes. Sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. And uh, you're not showing any symptoms yourself? No, no, sir. No, sir. And are you vaccinated? Uh, no, sir. I had uh, COVID, uh, COVID uh, in So you're a May, recovered patient, week. so you'll have yes, to sir. wait. Fine. Okay, Sandeep. So let us start. To begin with, I want you to introduce yourself to board members. Sir, uh, my name is Sandeep Kumar. I come from Madhuvani district of uh, Bihar. I did my schooling from uh, Jawar Navode Vidyalaya uh, Madhuvani. I have done my graduation and post-graduation from the Department of Mathematics, IIT Kharagpur. And uh, I graduated in 2019 and since then I have been preparing for civil services. This is my second attempt. You graduated from IIT uh, Kharagpur. Uh, which uh, trade? Which branch? Sir, uh, mathematics and computing. Maths and computing? Yes. Sir. So it's an integrated uh, program which yes, gives you a post-graduation in five years. Yes, sir. It's an integrated uh, MSc course. It's a five-year course, sir. Five-year course. Yes, sir. Uh, and you took it uh, mathematics as your optional. Yes, sir. Uh, that's been your optional here as well, right? Yes, sir. Uh, so, so you're more or less a mathematician. Uh, Good person to ask, what are numbers? Sir? What are numbers? Sir, numbers are mathematical objects to describe quantity. And uh, so, for instance, natural numbers help us in counting the objects and uh, fractions can help us uh, also count the numbers and divide the, uh, divide the objects in uh, various quantities, fractional quantities. Uh, so in a way, number is a measure for, uh, measure for uh, quantity. Since you did ma maths and computing, so I think uh, uh, from numbers we can move to the binary things. Why do we choose binary uh, form of, uh, I mean binary set of numbers? Uh, as a primary uh, uh, way uh, in computing? Sir, binary numbers are used in computing mostly because the computing is based on transistors and the on and off switch uh, which are used uh, in the transistors. And uh, sir, binary helps us in that uh, one can be interpreted as on switch and uh, zero can be interpreted as off switch. So these signalings are done by uh, transistors and uh, Computers are very efficient in uh, manipulating binary numbers and uh, this is the basis for computation in... Uh, if you stay with the number systems, be it binary, be it decimal system, hexadecimal system, we always find these systems are even. I mean, you're getting my point. Yes. Sir. These are even, uh, uh, even number are base for these systems. Why can't we have odd number based number systems? If we can have hexadecimal, we should be able to have septimal or pentimal, but that's not the case. One reason I, I can think of is that uh, uh, the current uh, memory uh, representation in the computation is based on uh, byte that is uh, 8 bit is called one byte uh, and uh, having even numbers as the base for uh, number system helps us in uh, building these various memory blocks. For instance, uh, memory blocks can be 2 raised to the power n and that can be represented by these even numbers 2 or 8 base or 16 base much more easily. So this is my understanding sir. You appear to be enjoying mathematics. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person who can see if, uh, why exactly you are coming to civil services. You should actually be in academics. Uh, sir, I like the subject mathematics, uh, but uh, my passion lays for civil service mainly because uh, growing up in Bihar, uh, the kind of uh, challenges and problems. I like I your honesty. 
you actually into um, uh, civil services just because you were born in Bihar. That's an uh, accident that happened with you. It was not an accident, uh, but the circumstances led me to uh, think differently about the issues that we are facing in our country. Sir, uh, Bihar faces some of these issues, underdevelopment and uh, lack of education and healthcare in uh, more severe terms. And I had to face that too. That led me to thinking what can be done about it and uh, uh, what you government... You knowing that Bihar has got uh, more than its fair share of bureaucrats, right? Yes. Both uh, in police, uh, in uh, administration. And it has not changed Bihar at a bit. So having more bureaucrats from Bihar will do nothing as far as upliftment of Bihar is concerned. That's what our history, that was our past is. Why do you believe that adding one more to this number will make any change? Uh, sir, uh, problem is uh, multidimensional and it's very complex. Uh, so actually one of the problem I believe, I'm sorry I'm interrupting, is that uh, uh, is the, you are part of the problem actually. Everybody wants to become a bureaucrat or a government servant rather than actually contributing to uh, progress of Bihar. Sir, I think uh, bureaucracy will also have to play a major role in development of not Bihar. Not necessarily bureaucracy of Biharis. Good bureaucracy will play a role. Not necessarily a Bihari bureaucracy made um, consisting of Biharis will make uh, good. Uh, sir, I think, sir, I am uh, more familiar with the issues that uh, Bihar faces. I myself struggle with some of those. Educational opportunities are very few. Healthcare systems are, are not present in many uh, villages. So I think uh, I have understanding of those issues which will help me in becoming a better, better bureaucrat. You are right, sir. Good bureaucracy will help Bihar. And sir, we want holistic development of Bihar in that government will have to create some enabling conditions. Sir, for instance, uh, we want to bring industry in Bihar. And for that, uh, to create enabling conditions, government will have to play a facilitative role, creating infrastructure, better regulations, providing uh, credit support to entrepreneurs. Sir, in this bureaucracy, especially good bureaucracy, will have to play a major role, sir. I think uh, uh, I want to join bureaucracy to contribute towards uh, that uh, betterment in situations in Bihar. Sandeep, you studied from Jawahar Navodhi Vidyalaya in yes, your Madhubari itself. And I can see you mentioned that you were head of the Saraswati Puja Committee. Yes, sir. Why should a school, a state-funded school, have Saraswati Puja at all? We don't have uh, namaz, we don't have uh, uh, other things uh, in state-funded uh, institution. Why Saraswati Puja? Uh, sir, constitutionally, there is bar on religious instruction in state-funded school. But uh, this is a cultural program, uh, which is... Uh, That's a smart and shrewd way of uh, calling religious thing cultural. That's been happening for many, many decades now. Uh, sir, Saraswati Puja is mainly organized by a student body. Uh, and uh, a school as an administration does not play uh, a great role in it. They provide security, they provide some uh, support, uh, but it is mainly done by students. Why should at all there be Saraswati Puja at school, uh, government, uh, state funded schools? Sir, your honest opinion. Uh, sir, Saraswati goddess, uh, goddess Saraswati is... Uh, there may be a uh, goddess in Greek mythology also, I don't care. My question is straight. Yes. Why should we have religious uh, pujas in government-funded schools? Sir, this also shows the cultural heritage of our country. We as a country have uh, a goddess, a female uh, representation of female deity representing the importance of knowledge and that is imparted in, to the students. And uh, sir, in my experience, I have seen that uh, students enthusiastically participate in it. And uh, along with the certain aspects of religious rituals which are performed. Uh, sir, many cultural festivals are also uh, part of, become you. part of the festival. Sir. Sandeep, uh, what was the central theme of the budget presented this year? Um, sorry, sir, I have forgotten the... Any theme. other highlights of the budget? Uh, sir, there was a significant increase in infrastructure spending. Uh, I think it was about 35% uh, increase in infrastructure, uh, capital expenditure, sir. and uh, so there was uh, increased expenditure in health sector as well. Uh, vaccine uh, pr got uh, 35,000 crore uh, and uh, various other measures like sanitation and uh, development of uh, healthcare infrastructure got a push uh, from the budget. Uh, so these are... What was the total size of budget roughly? Sir, it's uh, about uh, 25 lakh crore, but I may be mistaken, sir. I don't know the exact figure. Okay. 
And what is the amount of taxes government expected to receive this year? Uh, sorry, sir, I am not able to. Any it. rough idea? You are student of mathematics. You think remember figures? Uh, so, sorry, sir, I am unable to recollect. Okay, I have not studied that. And have you studied the budget? I think you could have some impression about the data, sir. Direct taxes and indirect taxes combined uh, form about uh, eighteen percent of the GDP. Eighteen percent of GDP. What is the size of GDP of India nowadays? Uh, sir, about three trillion dollar. Three trillion dollar only. Yes, sir. And nominal GDP is about three trillion. So eighty percent of that. Yes, sir. Means how much? Sir, it's about two point four forty billion dollar. Okay, is it? Yes, sir. That much taxes the government is likely to receive this year. Yes, sir. So expenditure of the government must be bigger than that. Yes, sir. Okay. Which is the most important infrastructure project under implementation? What is the name of that project? Sir, right now national infrastructure pipeline has been uh, rolled out. That's correct. Uh, what are the components of this uh, project, sir? National infrastructure pipeline uh, covers wide gamut of infrastructure projects. Sir, emphasis is on uh, road building uh, and uh, sir uh, industrial scheme, corridors. Any uh, scheme for road building? Sir, na national highway construction program uh, is one, and sir, industrial corridors, uh, Delhi, uh, Bombay, uh, Mumbai industrial corridor is being built. And uh, sir, there is uh, provision for dedicated uh, freight uh, corridor as well, eastern freight corridor and western freight corridor. Uh, these things are being built. Then there is provision for defence corridor as well in the Chennai and in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, so these are some of the projects, sir. I can. Okay, so only road and rail projects are there in pipeline. Uh, no, sir. Th there are uh, other provisions as well. But Energy related scheme. There is one uh, scheme related to building a pipeline, especially in the eastern part of the country. Uh, sir, it is called, I think, uh, Urja Ganga uh, pipeline. Uh, okay, runs from which place to which place? Sir, it connects Bihar with the Asham, I think, sir. Uh, Any specific I'm, location in Bihar? Uh, sorry, sir, I am unable to recollect. Okay. Uh, which country we are having the largest foreign trade with? Sir, as a country, it is. Uh, sir, I'm confused between China and USA. Perhaps it is uh, USA. I think, sir. Okay. How much is the size of trade, both ways? It's about uh, eighty billion dollars, sir. Okay. And second biggest trade is with China. Yes. Sir. And that is the size of. Sir, it's near about that, sir. Uh, the figures are very close. I think. Okay. Uh, roughly the same. Yes, sir. What is the status of Russia? Sir, with Russia, we have skewed uh, trade relations. In the defense sector, we have significant uh, trade relations. Uh, but in other uh, other sectors, we don't have that much cooperation, sir. So, so overall, uh, I don't uh, remember the figures, but uh, it is significantly lower than uh, the foreign trade with USA and China. Okay, you have studied from Karakpur IIT. When what is, what, was it established? Sir, it was established in 1951. Okay, on the recommendations of which committee or commission? Uh, sir, it was recommended by Sarkar Committee, Nalini, Nalini Ranjan Sarkar Committee, sir. Nalini Ranjan Sarkar Committee, yes, sir. Okay, who was Mr. Uh, Nalini Ranjan Sarkar? Uh, sorry, sir, I don't know much. Kharagpur IIT is based on which uh, institutional model? Uh, sir, it is based on uh, MIT of USA, sir, Massachusetts okay. Institute of Technology. Where it is located, MIT? Uh, sir, it is located in uh, Massachusetts. Which province? Uh, sorry, sir, I don't know. How many provinces are there in USA? Uh, sir, there are 50 states, sir, that I. Okay, remember. states, yes. Yes, sir. Mm. So, Massachusetts is located in which state? Sir, I think Massachusetts is an state itself. It's a state. Okay. Yes, in which part of the USA? Southern, northern, western, eastern? Uh, sir, it's in uh, northeastern part, sir. I think. Okay, that's correct. Okay, Sandeep, thank you. Thank you, sir. Sandeep. Yes, sir. So I gather from your DAF that you read non-fiction books. Yes, ma'am. Tell me the name of five books that you have read. 
Ma'am, after means uh, I've read a lot of books. Among them, Uncertain Glory uh, by Professor Ahmed Sin and John Rizeh. Uh, second thing, second book I read is uh, India Unbound uh, by Mr. Gurcharan Das. Then uh, the difficulty of being good again by uh, Mr. Gurcharan Das. Uh, I have also read uh, uh, Think on These Things by Mr. Jiddu Krishn Murthy. Uh, and uh, another book that I read uh, was uh, uh, Meditations by uh, Marcus Aurelius, the Roman Emperor. Okay, so tell me the gist about this Marcus Aurelius book, Meditations. Uh, Ma'am, Marcus Aurelius was uh, a Roman Emperor as well as uh, a Stoic philosopher. Uh, so his main sayings relate to Stoic philosophy and it says that uh, we may face uh, all kinds of challenges in our life, but rather than complaining about it or whining about it, we must face face it up and uh, we have to deal with it, come what, whatever may be. And uh, we have to be ready for the consequences. Uh, and uh, that is the only way. And also it says that uh, equanimity, uh, whether it is uh, pain or pleasure or sadness or happiness, the equin equanimity is uh, to be developed and uh, developing the virtues, uh, which are central to Greek philosophy, this, the, these can only lead to a, a happy state of mind. This is the gist of Marcus Aurelius' meditation. Who also suggested equanimity in Indian philosophy? Equanimity has been a central tenet in uh, Indian philosophy as well. Uh, Lord Buddha also uh, taught equanimity. And in Mahabharata, uh, the, in the uh, Bhagavad Gita also, Lord Krishna uh, suggests uh, Arjuna to maintain equanimity in all kinds of conditions. Okay. So, you also practice meditation? Yes, ma'am. So, what kind of meditation? Uh, ma'am, it is a mindfulness uh, meditation. Okay. How is it different from Raj Yoga, Hat Yoga? Ma'am, Hat Yoga is mainly uh, the yogi exercises uh, which are done. And uh, mindfulness meditation is mainly focusing on breath. Uh, to observe the thoughts and emotions in our mind. Uh, it is also different from uh, Raj Yoga. Uh, Ma'am, I don't know much about Raj Yoga. Uh, but me mindfulness meditation is mainly focusing on uh, breath. Okay. So, recently our PM compared our dhyan or meditation to some other technique of another country. He compared Japanese Zen with yes. Indian meditation. Our dhyan. Yes. So, do you find it correct comparison or is there any difference? Uh, Ma'am, curiously enough, a uh, Jain word is derived from the word dhyana itself. Uh, the uh, dhyana got translated into uh, Chinese uh, and from there uh, Jain comes. And Jain practices also uh, encourage meditation uh, as a tool to uh, develop our personality. Uh, so, there is similarity to that. but methodologies uh, might differ uh, in many ways. Uh, Jain uh, practice of meditation is uh, more close to uh, Buddhist practice of meditation. Uh, and Indian dhyana has been uh, systematized by Patanjali's Yoga Sutra. So there might be some differences. Okay. So tell me three women leaders you admire from India. They can be leaders in any aspect. In, in politics, uh, I admire uh, late uh, Susma Suraj and uh, ma'am from uh, the field of uh, science, uh, Ritu Karidhal, uh, Mrs. Ritu Karidhal from uh, ISRO has shown us uh, what women can achieve. She has been called rocket women of uh, India. And in COVID pandemic management, uh, uh, scientists like uh, Mrs. Gagandeep Kang and Swamya Swaminathans uh, these have shown uh, what women can achieve. Uh, these are my Okay, you are from Bihar. So tell me, um, what is the difference between women's right in property and dowry? Uh, by law, women have equal right to uh, property and uh, they have right to inheritance. Uh, and uh, it, dowry is still a reality despite it being illegal in India. And uh, we have seen uh, harassments related to dowries uh, increasing uh, in Bihar as well as in our country. Uh, the re relation is that sometimes uh, Dori is justified uh, by saying that uh, since women relinquish their claims on property and uh, mainly uh, the male members uh, get, get their inheritance from uh, their fathers. Uh, 
it is justified to demand dowry but i think this is a, a very uh, very wrong interpretation of the laws uh, dowry is an evil system and it has uh, been due to patriarchy and its uh, uh, cruel demand uh, and uh, as far as right to property is concerned, we have to create better awareness so that uh, women demand this right uh, more fervently and they enjoy it as well. And that can be one of the ways to uh, curb Dodi as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sandeep, could you name uh, some Indian mathematician and their contribution in mathematics? Sir, India has contributed to mathematics right from ancient time. Uh, whether it is the discovery of zero uh, during the time of Aryabhat and uh, b initial developments of uh, calculus during the time of uh, Madhava. Who, who invented zero? Sir, there is uh, controversy related to this. Uh, while zero has been used in, used in Indian mathematics uh, from very early on, uh, Vaskali uh, manus manuscript also uh, contains zero, uh, which predates uh, Aryabhat. But Aryabhat, uh, Aryabhat's manuscript uh, explicitly uses it uh, in, in, in his books. Uh, so, uh, that is the first instance we see of uh, zero being used in mathematics. Sir, other than that, uh, Vaskara uh, in the medieval period, he also contributed to the mathematics. If we come to modern period, sir, uh, Ramanujan is one of the greatest mathematician. He is from India. He contributed to infinite series. And uh, after that, uh, mathematicians like uh, Ch Chansekhar Khare uh, contributed to algebraic geometry. Sir, uh, uh, last year, C.S. Sadri died. He also contributed phenomenally to uh, algebraic geometry. This year, M.S. Narsimhan uh, sir died and he also had contributed to um, algebraic geometry, which is a key branch of mathematics. Okay, you are from Madhubani. Yes, sir. Could you tell us uh, about the history of Madhubani painting? And one thing more, uh, tell us about the main features of Madhubani painting, like subject of painting, painters, paint, if you can tell us. Yes. Sir, Madhubani painting as a tradition derives from the time of Ramayana. And uh, it is said that when uh, Lord Rama was coming to uh, marry Sita, the, the homes of Mithila region were painted with Madhubani paintings to welcome him. So, that is the origin of uh, Madhubani painting. Second thing is that uh, the key features of Madhubani paintings are, can be categorized into the th three themes. Uh, one is that legends of uh, Ramayana, uh, the marriage of uh, Ramashita, uh, love between Lord Krishna, these things are depicted. Uh, second thing is that naturalistic theme uh, of Madhubani painting, the, the flora and fauna of Mithila region, uh, Tulsi plant, uh, these things are depicted. and uh, Sir, uh, third is the social settings, uh, social uh, cultural depictions in Madhwani painting. Uh, for instance, sir, this is part of Kohbar uh, painting, uh, the, the, the wedding horse which is painted with Madhwani painting. Sir, as far as famous painters are concerned, uh, sir, this tradition has been chiefly carried on by women. Uh, Maha, Mahashundari Devi is uh, award winning painter, Madhwani painting, uh, Madhwani painting painter. And uh, sir, uh, Sita Devi, uh, recently, Bharti Dayal, uh, these women have contributed phenomenally to Madhwani painting. Sir, uh, one uh, interesting thing about Madhwani painting is that it still depends on natural sources for uh, painting. For instance, uh, color is obtained from uh, uh, flowers and uh, sir, for instance, yellow color is obtained from ochre. Okay, leave it, leave it. Uh, just before me, madam, were asking uh, with you about Raj Yoga and Hati Yoga. I want to know something also. Uh, is there any connection between yoga and meditation? Or both are different? Uh, sir, as per Patanjali's uh, Yoga Sutra, uh, there are eight uh, parts of uh, yoga. And uh, could you name all that? Uh, sure, sir. Yam? Sir, sir hmm. uh, first is Yam hmm. and then Niyam. Hmm. Then, sir, uh, Pratihar, uh, sorry, sir, I'm forgetting the right order. Uh, yam, Niyam, Ashan, uh, Pratihar, uh, Dharna, Dhyan, Samadhi, and no, then there no, is one no, other. No. This is not the correct order. Okay, okay. 
give any three reasons on the basis of which we can select you sir first thing is that uh, i have worked hard in my life uh, to reach here and i am a hard working individual who has lived his life with discipline so that will be helpful in bureaucracy as well so the second thing is that i am passionate about civil service mainly because the issues that i faced have uh, convinced me that being part of bureaucracy will provide me a platform to serve the society in a meaningful way and uh, i will be able to contribute towards the development of nation and uh, third is that sir i'm i remain optimistic about uh, my country and its future and uh, sir i believe that coming decade is going to be uh, india's uh, decade uh, as has been uh, highlighted by the prime minister as well that is going to be a decade of india and uh, i want to be part of that development process and contribute meaningfully to it okay okay last question from my side what are your weaknesses sir one weakness i would say is that uh, i am not that enthusiastic about sports and i want to correct it and uh, sir second uh, weakness i can say is that i am slightly introvert uh, although i am working on it by talking to different people uh, so these are two weaknesses i am not enthusiastic for many things so uh, this is my weakness not necessarily sir but uh, i think uh, sports and fitness uh, they play a key role uh, in our life so i i wish uh, in school days i had uh, play, paid more attention to some sports uh, so i consider that my weakness okay, okay sir sandeep you are from bihar right yes now tell me one thing uh, recently uh, sputnik 5 has been rolled out a new variant yeah. of yes vaccine in addition to covaxin and covid shield yes sir aware about this or yes, not yes 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 sir now tell me one thing uh, is this vaccine uh, available in bihar sputnik 5 is it being administered to a general public uh, so, sorry sir i don't you are not aware about this can you please tell me how sputnik 5 is different from covid shield uh, sorry sir i don't know the technical difference okay now uh, will you please tell me what is uh, uh, the time lag between the two doses in so far as sputnik 5 is concerned the first dose will be followed by the booster dose after interval of how many days sir i am not aware of the time lag for sputnik why 5. why this time lag has been incorporated in so far as uh, administration of vaccine is concerned in indian context as well as uh, in foreign countries as well uh, this this difference is uh, uh, what is the rationale uh, so the rationale is that uh, first dose uh, causes some uh, uh, immunity building in our body uh, and after a while uh, the second dose gives a booster dose and uh, it leads to a significant increase in antibodies present in our body so this has been observed after trials that uh, if we uh, keep uh, gaps of few weeks between the vaccines there is much more increase in the amount of antibodies generating in our body and uh, uh, this has come after trials and it has been recommended uh, for that reason what are the guidelines issued by government of india for uh, vaccinating uh, women who are in the family way uh, pardon me sir i could not get the last part women who are expecting means the pregnant women can they go for vaccination what are the recent guidelines issued by government of india sir uh, recently government has allowed uh, pregnant women to get vaccinated as well sir uh, but i'm not aware of the all the technical details i think sir uh, they have they have to consult a doctor Th though they have been allowed but uh, it's, it's, it's conditions might vary and as per doctor's recommendation they should you are not aware about the general guidelines issued by the government sir right, tell me in so far as uh, parliamentary proceeding is concerned i'm just giving you some uh, phrases you will have to explain that point of order sir point of order is raised when uh, it is believed that uh, rules of the house are not being uh, followed any member can raise it and uh, all the proceedings of uh, the parliament stops at that point and uh, first uh, uh, rules are uh, followed and then the proceedings begin calling attention motion sir calling attention motion is uh, a motion which tries to bring attention to a an important issue uh, who initiates this calling attention motion sir i believe any member can uh, initiate uh, calling attention motion uh, it tries to bring uh, attention of the house to uh, any particular issue that is facing our country okay now tell me if india is to is to chart the same path of economic development as china 
undertaken what will be the uh, fallout what will be the negative consequences of the same sir uh, one thing that has been seen in china is that uh, uh, despite it being a communist country income inequality has uh, gone up significantly uh, so that might uh, be become a problem in india as well that is problem number 1 give yes. a pointed reply yes sir uh, second uh, problem is that uh, during the process uh, china has taken many coercive measures for instance in uh, uh, taking up the land uh, they have evicted families and evicted the whole communities uh, so if we go for that kind of infrastructure push that might be a problem in india as well and uh, third thing is that sir uh, china is one of the leading producer of ghgs greenhouse gases and uh, with the same kind of approach uh, we cannot uh, uh, develop country as well because it will lead to climate change becoming more severe uh, for our country okay my last question to you see uh, it is generally said uh, and it is true as well that uh, most of the conventional indian so societies are uh, having a foundation of uh, patriarchy deep rooted and this patriarchy is manifested in many forms you know be it uh, institution or our practices one practice is uh, let, let's go to bihar uh, that uh, the uh, barat starts from the gentleman's house to the lady to be married right yes the gentleman uh, performs all the rituals there at the lady's house and brings the lady to his house fine what if the system is reversed as a consent to the fact that if we do this we are going to do away with a system of patriarchy because this also is in any way a form of patriarchy what will be uh, the scene if the system is reversed uh, so this system is actually the reverse system is actually found in some of the northeastern states for instance in manipur uh, sir if uh, uh, boys stay in girls home uh, also then there is uh, some problem basically the the issue is between uh, a family system where individuality is not respected as such and versus the uh, system of uh, individual freedom where boys and girls when they marry they have their freedom to chart out their own life rather than becoming part of the joint family system so i think uh, even when we reverse the system the the problems of uh, institutional problems of family structure uh, will uh, create frictions uh, and uh, the better approach would be uh, to respect the individual freedoms of the couples uh, to chart out their own life uh, and uh, in the meanwhile uh, we don't need to uh, disrupt the whole family system but there can be some changes which can be uh, brought about in the family system of india sir okay sandeep you want to become a dm i suppose Sir. suppose you uh, become a collector or dm in your own state and there is a situation that there are district level appointments that's being made in your district you are definitely the uh, at the helm of the affairs and when the appointments are through and you have not uh, intervened in this uh, these appointments ideally you should not and uh, then comes the list of the candidates who are selected for the district level appointments maybe for teachers or whatever right and there are 10 uh, person in that list and all belong to uh, the same caste and that happens to be your caste right uh, right after that list came there comes a letter to you from your jati panchayat jati Uh, sabha your caste uh, sabha thanking you for taking care of uh, uh, your community and um, uh, working for the improvement of your community how will you react to both these items at your table you have not done anything wrong sir here there is an issue of public trust uh, people's trust in public institutions are very important and uh, this issue of uh, all people being from same caste uh, can become problematic it can also become But a political issue but they have issue. qualified and they have gone through the same process uh, why should you be intervening uh, sir so one thing i will uh, do is that uh, i will make this a, a whole the process can be uh, made more transparent and what will you do at these two things how will you respond to these two lists uh, sir as far as the appointment is concerned if uh, 
the procedures have been followed and uh, there is no discrepancy in that, then I will respect the choice uh, and uh, I will follow it. Ten people, same from your caste, being appointed, no matter whether you said or not, obviously they, be, they know who the DM is, that's why they are appointed. Uh, sir, again, I will try to investigate because this raises a matter of concern, this becomes a matter of concern for me as well. I will become suspicious of the whole process, so I will try to investigate and see if any rules have been flouted and in the during the investigation if anything comes then i will take action but if uh, it happened that way uh, maybe there was uh, no reservation or anything like that and uh, it is a coincidence that all people from same caste got selected such a coincident is happening for a lot lot time in our country for 70 or in fact as a matter of fact for thousands of years such co coincidents are happening isn't it uh, sir but we have progress towards making administration what more inclusive. What will you do about the second letter? Uh, so, sir, I will uh, reply to them by saying that uh, I am not doing any favor to any caste. I don't believe in the system of caste and inequality associated with it. This has been done through a rigorous process and I myself investigated the whole matter as far as uh, the appointment of candidates are concerned. And uh, I will right away say, say to them that Please don't expect such uh, favors uh, related to caste from me. Uh, I am a public servant and I believe uh, in the constitution of the country. I believe the, in the process of uh, law and rules and I will follow only that. Fine, Sandeep. It was nice talking to you. Your interview is over. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Aye, Sandeep, sit here. Thank you, sir. Yes. So, how was it? What are the areas you believe you're okay and where you believe that you need to work? Sir asked about uh, the budget uh, pr provisions uh, on those things. I have studied, but I had not revised them properly. So, those okay, things I need still to... still have some time. Yeah, time. sir. Still have a month or so. With I, will, I will revise them and uh, especially regarding to Sputnik uh, and those things, uh, I will revise them. Uh, right. Economy and COVID aspect, uh, you can probably uh, relook at. Okay. Yes, sir. See, uh, Sandeep, uh, you're definitely a very good candidate. You uh, come, you have good academic background. You're an IITN. You worked, you studied from Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya. Uh, you're good. You studied from good institutions, and uh, uh, that way your personality is good. You you're groomed well. Your uh, coming to specifics, your entry is good. Sitting posture is good. Voice level, by and large, is good. In a verbal communication, uh, in fact, on the boundary line of the verbal and non-verbal communication, you have this uh, uh, good smile, which you use a lot, uh, but you use it a lot, right? So that's the thing. So you're using it, which is good. You're looking good, but at few places it appears as if it's uh, you're overusing it. Okay. So maybe you can uh, uh, work it. I mean, uh, see, smile in itself is not uh, offending. Yes. But there is always a possibility that if it is at a wrong places, then sometimes board members may take uh, like, uh, they may not like it. Okay. Right? That, that is uh, one area. Hand movement by and large is restricted. Uh, there is a huge neck movement with you. Right. You move your neck a lot. So, uh, it's not just nodding. It's more than that. So, uh, look at the video carefully and uh, uh, if you also believe that it's, it, it is looking a little awkward, then you can uh, think of uh, controlling it. Say, so, yeah, it's going to be your call, but my duty is to point it out that yes, uh, this is one area you have to look at. Uh, similarly, this you have this tendency of hand clasping, right? Yes, sir. Uh, hand clasping uh, is a technique which is used only by the candidates who have this tendency of uh, vigorous hand movement. If that is not you with your case, place your hands like this. Okay. Sir. Right? If you have this tendency of moving your hands a lot, in only in that case you can think of uh, clasping it. Right? Okay. So, us par aap bichar kar sakte. Other things, uh, uh, you must, as you mentioned that uh, whenever the factuals uh, are asked, uh, whenever, it, whether it's data, budget, things, it appears that you go a little low on confidence there. Right. One is obviously not knowing. Not knowing is obviously a problem. You will work it out. But in any case, no matter how much you prepare, in any interview, there will be a patch where you may not be knowing answers. Right? Fine. But then uh, the reaction to this uh, should not be by lowering your confidence. Right? 
So one, uh, you have to work on two fronts. One, you have to uh, prepare for it. And second, uh, you have to ensure that even in the areas where for some reason you don't have answers, don't let your confidence uh, dip, right? Yes. This is uh, another suggestion I wanted to make. Otherwise, usually things are good. I didn't like the way you addressed hobby thing. Yes. So, I mean, when uh, I have been saying it for many years now, whenever the issue of hobby and interest come, it is your chosen area. So yes. you should have a obvious expression of uh, uh, happiness discussing it. In yes. your case, there was more of a fear. Oh, ye kya pooch liya, right? So prepare the hobbies well, uh, yoga and all. Okay. And second, uh, whenever these discussions are being made, uh, try and be more energetic yes. uh, while you're discussing it. Right? Other things well in place. I'm sure uh, you'll be doing very, very good. Right? Thank you. All the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir.